Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com here, and today we're going to explain to you the Nest thermostat wiring color codes and how they work with your Nest. The very first wire that we're going to start with is the R wire. The R wire is what provides power to your Nest, and that wire can go in either the RC or RH terminal. It actually doesn't matter which one that you wire it in. Uh, the Nest has two power terminals on it for those of you that have dual fuel systems. We're not really covering dual fuel systems in this video. We're covering the most common type of thermostat wiring for a Nest, which is what this five wire system typically is found in most homes. Some of you may have four wires, which is basically the same as the five wire. You just won't have the C wire, which really doesn't impact most of the functionality for you. So we'll get to what the C wire does here in a minute but we'll just start with the R wire. So the R wire is the most important because it is what provides power to your thermostat, provides 24 volts. That can go in the RC or RH terminal. I recommend putting in the RH terminal just for uh, standard, and RH is really stands for power for heat. So it will provide power to both your heating and cooling system, but just go with the RH because that's kind of what's standard used in the industry. Uh, the Y wire is yellow, and that is the cooling wire or AC wire. So that controls your HVAC system on the AC side. So your air conditioning, uh, your compressor, and everything that works with cooling your home. The white wire or W wire, that is the heating wire. That controls the signal that will turn on the heat, which turns on your furnace or the gas uh, flame that's inside of your furnace that will then create hot air throughout your HVAC system. So that is what the W wire does. The G wire is actually not necessary, but adds other features. And we do have another video that shows you what you can do with the G wire if you don't have a C wire and you need one, but we're not gonna cover it in that. You can look at one of our other videos if you wanna learn more about it. But the fan wire, what it does is it allows you to control your fan inside your HVAC system without turning on your air conditioning or your heating. And why you might wanna do this is during certain times of the year, um, you can just circulate air throughout your home and using just your fan is much more economical than using energy to produce air conditioning or to produce heat from your furnace. So you can just circulate air using that large fan motor, fan motor that is in your HVAC system to circulate air throughout your house. And it can, one, just circulate air, but also can help moderate the temperature. So if you have really uh, poor cooling or heating in parts of your home where it gets hotter or colder than it should, um, circulating the air with the fan will help. So you can set the Nest thermostat to turn on the fan and circulate it constantly or once every 15 minutes for, per hour, or once every 30 minutes per hour, and doing that will help kind of even out the heating and cooling throughout your home if you're having issues with that. So the fan will automatically turn on whenever your thermostat calls for cooling or calls for heating. That's why you don't necessarily need the G wire, but if you have one, you should definitely install it. Put the green wire or G wire into the Nest G wire terminal. Now the last one is the C wire or the common wire, and that's typically blue. Not everybody has a common wire, but if you do have a common wire, you should definitely connect it. Um, we've got other videos explaining what a common wire does, how to connect a common wire, or how to get a common wire connected even if you don't have a common wire, which in that case you can use the G wire, which we talked about. However, if you do have a common wire, connect it. What the common wire does is it allows power to go through your thermostat, charging the battery, and back down the C wire, which acts kind of like a neutral wire that lets current return to the system without turning on your heating or cooling and without turning on your fan. And the purpose of this is it allows your Nest battery to charge. And why that's important is because your Nest is always communicating with your Wi-Fi network, and that takes a lot of energy, as well as the display screen on the Nest. So having a C wire lets your Nest charge up better and send that Wi-Fi signal throughout your house and communicate with your Wi-Fi router, which can be an issue if you've got a larger house or the Wi-Fi router is far away or that display turns on a lot or your furnace just doesn't put out enough power, which is a, a thing that can happen for some people. So that is what the common wire is. It is not required. Once again, the G wire is not also required, but if you want heating and cooling, you definitely have to have the W wire and the wire wire is cooling. So heat is W or white, Y is yellow for cooling, for nest, and R is power. 
Now let's say you only had two wires, which some of you do only have two wires, and typically that is a furnace only system. Maybe you live somewhere where it doesn't get hot enough that you need air conditioning. In that case, you would really only need to have an R wire, the power wire, and the W wire, and that would activate your furnace and turn on your furnace. Or if you had a boiler, same thing for the nest boiler in uh, heating mode only. Now, some of you live in places where you never need heat, you only need cooling. In that case, you would still need to have an R wire, the red wire, and a Y wire, the cooling. And what that's gonna do is activate just your AC with the white or with the yellow wire and cooling wire and the R wire and power. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about thermostat wiring color codes for the Nest thermostat. If you have any questions, uh, click on them below. We've done a lot of videos on this in the common wire and Nest troubleshooting. So please uh, check out some of those if you have other questions. If not, I'll try and respond to the comments with your questions on Nest thermostat wire color codes.